Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Logan with West Desert Wheeler. Today we have got the four wheel steer Axial Capra and my dog Sydney. And we're gonna go run one of my favorite trails here. This one, I kind of just ended up naming Risk. The reason I'm calling these trails different board game names is because this area has a real rock crawling trail and it is called Shoots and Ladders. So I'm just kind of playing off of that a little bit. So we're gonna jump into this Capra. I've already got the camera set up on the controller. It's time to go run this thing up the trail and see what kind of lines we can pull off. All right, guys, now we're starting to get into the first real big obstacles here on this trail, Risk. Running the four-wheel steer capper, I've got two-handed control set up on my controller so that I can control the rear steer independently of my fronts. It's a pretty sweet setup. I run this on my Flysky GT5. If you guys are curious how to do four-wheel steer on your axial capra, I recently just did a video on that, so be sure to check it out. So for this obstacle, I usually really struggle to go left instead of right like I'm doing. So just for today, because I'm not feeling like this thing's performing its best, we're gonna go along this high line and then we're gonna work our way around that. So instead of running up through here, we just run up and around it, and now we can drop down into the next obstacle. This is on my list of just fun things to drive. I really like to get my rock, my tire up on that rock, follow it with the rear. And then chase it on down with the rears. There we go. Got through there, not too bad, not too much drama. Try and load this tire up. All right guys, I did just have to rearrange some rocks here because in my first attempt, it did not go well because these rocks shift around a lot between the different times that I come out and drive this trail. So I don't know whether it's people or just water or something moving these things around. So I had to stack it up. Here we go, got a nice little ramp. We got to get that front tire out from the underhang on the driver's side. We got that done. Now we just need to get our rears placed where we need. Okay, that's in a very dangerous spot. Our back rear is kind of trapped under there. There we go. That's way better. There we go, a little finessing. Now we go into a full four wheel steer U turn there. We're gonna see how she handles this very steep climb. All right, guys, you can see here there's a little bit of a high risk line. I mean, it's a solid four or five foot drop here. You don't want to come down on the side of your portals on this. Nice, got the hook up top, drove right over it. Very nicely done by the Capra. Now the ledge gets real tall. We're up on 15 to 20 foot cliff. Just gonna cruise along. And then there's this small ledge that you get to chase around. Side handling abilities kind of sucks with these tires, so this could get real spicy. There we go. Got the capper through. Not too bad there, not much drama. Let's scoot out close to the edge so that we get to try this nice little steep climb. It's not that scary of an obstacle, but when you're on the edge of a cliff, it sure adds to the element. I'm actually gonna square up to it and then crab over as we come up. Sweet, just hooked and booked right there. All right guys, we've reached a cool part in the trail where if you have a less capable vehicle, you go right, the Capra, and should be able to just snake its way up through this formation up here. Worst case scenario, we can swing around that corner and then work our way up over there, which is kind of like the medium grade line. So let's try the Capra line. 
see how she does today on risk. Originally, I used to run this trail backwards of how I'm doing it in this video. It was a really fun obstacle to come down, but it added more challenge driving up everything, so I decided to start running it this way. Okay, this is where having four-wheel steer really helps because the secret to this line is you just want to get uphill close to the wall, and that's how you want to start on this obstacle. Got to keep that rear end high, and then we're going to bring our front end over. Okay, now it gets tippy right here. The key is to hook that rear tire on the bottom ledge there, which we got on this first attempt. Now we need to work our front end over. Okay, we've still got that hook up top and on the bottom. We're not done yet, but it's looking good. And wow, that was the easiest I've ever done that. Nicely done by the Capra. There goes the tennis ball. Sydney wants to play ball instead of watching me drive RCs. Don't jump off the cliff, you crazy dog. Okay guys, here we go. We're still not done with this obstacle. Got a big crack running up through here that we have to navigate over. Got to get our tire placement right. Work our way up here. we go. Now we're going to turn kind of crab. Look at that front tire in there. There we go. We're not going to bring the rear up on that line. Now we're going to swing it around and drive up. Wow, that's the easiest this thing's ever made that look. That's a really tough spot. Apparently I just have learned my marks and finally got it down. All right, we've got two options here. Might as well just try and run the more difficult one. This truck seems to be hooking up pretty well now. So run up this little wall. And this formation underneath this overhang is just super slick. Most of them get a lot of sand and stuff under these areas and you just run out of traction really fast. So let's try and run these rear tires. Got to get them up before we start really turning. There we go. Sydney's making sure we're good up top. All right, now we're just gonna skirt along this edge and we're gonna kind of avoid running into that ravine. That's definitely the harder line and the capper made it look easy. This one's just because this spot looks cool. Get the rear end over, got the hook, drive along under this formation and then up and around. Let's just run that rear tire way up on that wall for no reason. Sweet, got that done. All right guys, this is probably the hardest place on risk because there is no go around for this. There's go around on the other obstacles, but uh, right here, you kind of just have to make it stick. I have done this obstacle with my Trail Finder 2. However, wheel placement is everything. You gotta get it right. So luckily with the rear steer, that really helps out with getting your wheel placement right. So there we go, you gotta stay balanced. You gotta watch all four tires at once. These walls are uneven. But if you can do it with the tag axle rig, there's no reason you can't do it with a four wheel steer rig. And honestly, I'm following the exact line I did in my trail finder. With that front tire dipping down early. Right there, that dig coming in super handy, bringing that front end right back around. Now this is one of my favorite spots just because it's way up in your face. Like, as you can see, there's a ledge down here. So you're really, you're right at eye level with your crawler. You get to watch all the suspension work and everything right in front of you. However, there is still some tricky spots going on. My dog's laying right where I want to stand. 
because she's black. She's got to get out of the sun. It's only 70, but she's acting like it's 110. Wow, Capra just made that look so easy. Which it should. This is my most capable rig, I would say. And then right around here, you get one heck of a view. Pretty awesome area over here in Sand Hollow. All right, guys, we are dangerously close to the end of the Risk Trail here. And now we've got this big ledge. It's just off camber. It's got a little V-notch for the belly to roll through. But man, you get bellied up so hard on this. You kind of got to just smash through it. Let's see if the capper can get it done today. Not on that one. Oh, 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 nice. Just bounced our way through it. That's how you get it done. Unfortunately, that's really the only way I've ever made that one. Okay, guys, here we go. Basically the last obstacle. And this one really is just as hard as you want to make it on yourself. Up and around, work the rear end down, skirt around that bottom, bottom ledge. Those portals giving us all the clearance we need. Oh, well, maybe not. That rear tire's got a hook. The front tires are pushing. Let's see if it's gonna stick. We may be able to get out of it or not. Let's back up. Nice and easy. We'll start pulling ourselves away from that ledge. Okay, got ourselves saved with a nice little reverse there. Didn't end up flipping. Hit the crossover up to the top and the end of the risk trail. Well done, Capra. Well, all right, guys, we saw some pretty awesome performance out of the Capra today. Probably not the best it's ever performed. With these big tires, it really likes to side roll when you get sideways on a hill but you can only ask for so much with a big tall tire like that hope you guys enjoyed it hit the affiliate links down below it's how you can support me here on youtube i would greatly appreciate it i've got a few in there for a main also amazon and blue coolers if you guys are looking for an awesome cooler to keep ice for like up to seven days something crazy like that i love my little blue cooler i run it all the time we'll see you guys in the next one keep the rubber side down <laughs>